Hey, what's up guys? It's Slicker Slick Mafia back again with another video. And yesterday I saw Avengers Infinity War. I know I am quite late to the party there, but I didn't really get a chance to see it until before then. So anyway, yesterday, like I said, I saw Avengers Infinity War. And at first when I saw the movie, I, I of course, um, I really enjoyed it. I thought overall it was a great movie. Um, some parts in the beginning I thought were a little slow, like some scenes could have been cut out, like with the Guardians and Thor just like chatting. Um, I thought the movie was long. I mean, honestly... I used to really want movies to be like two and a half hours. Now I think it's a little bit uh, pushing it. I think um, closer to the two hours than 2.30 is probably um, better. Just, I don't know, as per the guy in front of me that was like viciously snoring throughout half of the movie. Um, but overall, the audience was, was really into it, and I personally really enjoyed it as well. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't bored. I just think there was a few scenes that um, it could have been sped up. Whatever. Anyway. So, in regards to the ending, though, I thought about it more, and I don't really like the ending all that much. So, this is spoilers, of course, for the for the film, and I'm getting into those now, so click away if you haven't seen it. Um, basically, like, half of the MCU cast disappears, including uh, Black Panther, Spider-Man, um, a lot of, I can't even remember everybody, um, Falcon, I think, uh, lots of different people basically just disappear. They, you know, disintegrate into dust or whatever because Thanos snapped his fingers and he had all six of the Infinity Stones. Um, and at first I thought this was a really shocking ending and, and everybody, but before I'd seen the movie was like, oh my God, you're going to be so upset or so pissed. And honestly, when I left the theater, I was not because it, it's very clear to me that the ending is only temporary. I mean, we know Black Panther 2 is coming out. He disappeared. Uh, you know, and we, we know they didn't just kill off Spider-Man because they're trying to make a Spider-Man trilogy. So really, what are we looking at here um, in regards to what a lot of people have complained about in regards to the MCU is that is that um, what we see, the stakes are not really there. And even when there is perceived stakes, in other words, we think that half of the Marvel cast has died, it's very obvious that in the next movie, they're going to find a way to revert back on that. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they won't. Um, maybe Black Panther and Spider-Man and literally, you know, everybody basically except for Cap and Iron Man and a few other people are dead. It's possible. Um, not very likely, though. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, there was stakes to the movie. I mean, Vision is gone for good uh, as far as I'm concerned. Gamora is probably gone for good. Um, and Loki is probably gone for good, um, because they died before all of this snap of the fingers thing. But the time stone still exists. As long as the time stone is not destroyed, you can just get the time stone and, you know, revert back. Maybe bring back everybody. Maybe bring back Gamora. I don't know. Um, and also something that's important to note is that, uh, Dr. Strange, he went into his little time morph thingy and he thought of, um, 14 million different avenues and only one is where they won and you know dr strange even said before that he was not going to give up the stone to help tony if they were in that situation and he did so clearly this is the only possibility in other words dr strange giving up the time stone is the only possible way that they would win um the battle so that means that probably iron man is going to be important down the line tony stark and like i said as long as the infinity stone or excuse me the time stone exists everything every single death can be brought back again i would like to think they didn't do it but you could also just tell in in moments where the deaths were meaningful um like in the case of of gamora uh clearly a very powerful moment compared to you know at the end where where black panther like disintegrates into dust um, not that it's not powerful per se, but you just know, I, I, I just like think it's obvious that it's not going to be permanent. So therefore, you know, it's not like it doesn't have the weight to it. Um, so I think a lot of people have have in a way maybe overhyped the ending of it as to be like this grand thing, like so unexpected. Um, I mean, perhaps it's unexpected in the sense that they killed off half of the MCU cast. But if we're going to like look back on it in a few years is the ending of Infinity War really going to have that same weight to it? Because um, the fact of it is, uh, once again, spoiler, I'm just going to go ahead and predict, you know, Spider-Man and Black Panther are going to come back. Now, that's not to say that they won't kill them off later in the movie, but at some point they have to come back, you know. Um, it would be really interesting if they chose not to. Like, yeah, we just killed off Black Panther and Spider-Man. They're goners. Um but I'm going to say that's increasingly unlikely because if you think about the cast that actually is still alive, you know, Iron Man and Cap and that kind of thing, um, these individuals are older, like they are getting up there. <laughs> um, 
in the sense that they've been in the MCU for like a decade, and I don't think you can really count on them for being there much longer, to be honest. And, um... Yeah, the, just the fact that I, I can't even recall off the top of my head everybody that died. It was so many freaking people. Um, it shows that, like, all of these characters, because we've been exper you know exposed to them for so long, they're going to get a very good sending out if they're going to kill them, um, just knowing the MCU. So, I'm not saying the movie had no, hate, no stakes, but I'm saying that the ending, perhaps, is really not that memorable or something to be, like, I don't know. I just think I just think we're gonna look back on it and, and recognize that it really didn't have any long term lasting implications. Um, but I'm very excited for um, the second Avengers, um, or excuse me, the fourth Avengers, the second the Infinity War sequel, whatever. Um, and I think that'll be a very great film. And, and once we get past sort of the moment of like, okay, well, somehow we brought everybody back and having the real war not that it wasn't it, it was a real war i mean the action moments in the in the film were great and overall i really enjoyed the movie um the ending just i don't know it, it didn't really have the punch for me because i think it's very obvious that the implications of it are not going to last so i hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up let me know what your thoughts are do you think that they're goners i mean do you think that they just killed off half of the mcu again i i'm not convinced that that is the case but we shall see hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up my name is slick Moff. i'll see you guys in the next one